Would the four of you stand up, please? In the coming 10 seconds, you're all going to think of an emotion. Something that you could associate with something perhaps personal to you. When you're done, briefly run through the memory and the emotion involved. No, 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 don't come back to the room yet. Just stick on to the emotion. And uh, sir, you right there, you look very authority. Just, just, uh, could, you, could you more uh, go into a little more detail? Is that okay? Thank you. Look at me, please. Ma'am, you're right there, the third one. Do you have a picture in your mind? An emotion? You do? A memory, too? Is it happiness? Thank you. You can sit back. <laughs> Thank you. You are the major skeptic here. Uh, Discussed? Thank you. You don't actually have to show it to me, just uh, in your mind. Yeah? Ma'am, uh, I'm not entirely sure if, if you are... Would that be right if, if I say uh, you kind of changed your mind? You did? Thank you. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it happiness? Is it happiness now? But um, I'm not entirely sure. It gotta be contempt or or fear. Fear. Thank you. There we go. You can sit down. And uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I, I, what I what I wanted to do, um, sir. You're more focusing on the memory uh, rather than the emotion. If I said, would that be right? Is it anger? Uh. Thank you. And 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 your your, your memory. It's uh, I, I can't go into detail. I'm not uh, allowed to even. So. Um, what if I said it's about a conversation or an attitude from someone to you? Is that, would that be? Someone mentioned something, something it's like, not like a complaint, but someone mentioned something, um, uh, wait, 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 something about, the comment is something about gender? There we go, thank you so much. You can sit down. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Before trying to know or understand even one sense among the five, people always want to figure out the sixth sense. Some happen to believe there is no such thing, and I'm one of them. The key here would be using the five senses together more appropriately to create an illusion of the sixth. This is what a mentalist does. Good evening, my name is Hadi, and I'm a mentalist. <laughs> Thank you. In a moment, you're all going to see two images on screen, two uh, faces probably. Have a look at it, if you would. Oh, that, could you associate them with, uh, with one of them with happiness and other one with sadness? <laughs> okay, is it very obvious? That's my cute uh, little niece there. Maybe you should try this. Uh-huh. For most of the people, they look the same. But if you watch a little closer, you'll see the emotion unfolding. The people on the left is indeed happier than the other, and that isn't really happiness, actually, if you watch close. Um, they say the characteristic, uh, natural smile causes characteristic wrinkles around the eyes. Insincere people smile only with their mouth. You'll see this kind of a lot in the receptions, you know? <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, thanks to the works of Professor Pollock Manon on micro expression studies. Um, we suggest if you could imagine the back of the brain as a projector and then the face comes as a screen. Whatever projects there, for, even for a minute fraction of a second, should appear here. Your thoughts are safe with you, though. Just uh, that emotion has signals. All of us know that only about 35% uh, of the communication is verbal, and the rest is nonverbal, uh, which involves expression, tonality, eye contact, gesture, posture, appearance, etc., etc., which literally means the people always give up or give away, that, that would be right. People always give away much more than they realize. These are only for the trained eyes, though, fortunately, as most of the people don't even know the existence of it when it comes to communication. If so, this is my point. 
If so, isn't that very obvious for a person to see two to three times more than an average observer if he is following the nonverbal communication as well? Just think about it. I'm not trying to make it complicated here. Just do the math. Are you with me so far? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, let me try this. Have you ever heard this most uh, famous intellectual game called uh, the, the 20 Christians? How many of you? That's a few. Um, some call it a reverse quiz. There we go. A little more. Um, allow me. If um, would, you, would you stand up, sir? What's your name, if I may? Abhishek. Abhishek? So would you mind uh, as well? Your name is? Suraj. Okay. Abhishek and Suraj. Uh, this is how it's going to work. Um, <clears throat> both of you, or uh, first you, sir, I will explain how it's going to work. What I want you to do, I want you to uh, try and think of an object, okay? Oh, no, of a person. Is that okay? Try and think of a person, um, someone, a well-known person, if I would. Normally how the game works, you, you should write it down, what are you thinking, and give it to a panel, and they will judge the person is whether famous enough or not. But we, we, we don't work that way, so uh, make sure. I hope you are thinking of a well-known person. Okay. Now you, sir, um, Suraj, right? Suraj, what, I, what are you going to do? Um, you're going to think of an object, Any, anything under the sun, or even beyond sun, but something relatively famous. You got one? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, forget 20 questions, okay? I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to frame my questions in such a manner that you could only answer yes or no. Okay? Forget 20 questions. Uh, let's say four to five questions, hopefully. Well, give or take. Uh, you have an advantage, though. You only got to answer in your head. How convenient. Nothing out loud, just answer in your head. But be genuinely honest, okay? I see uh, two major skeptics in you, so you're making me nervous. <laughs> you, you understand the rule of the game? Yeah. No, you're supposed to answer in your head, remember? <laughs> okay, whatever. Just, uh, here we go. <clears throat> Abhishek? Ah, oh, okay. Mirroring the other person's body language. That's cool. Uh, I will start with you then, Suresh. Is it a big object, a massive one? Uh, okay. Something uh, like a household object? That's confusing enough. Uh, let me rephrase my question. Um, something that we see inside a kitchen? Okay. You're not trying to trick me, are you? <laughs> I believe you. That is in the third question. I, I just made it up. <laughs> a moving object? Is that confusing? Electronic? Huh. Accessory? Okay, wait. I. It's either the laptop. No, no. Um, it's a, it's a cell phone, isn't it? Thank you very much. You can sit down. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Don't change the person, whoever it is. I believe you. Don't change whoever you okay. An Indian? I mean, Indian? Politician? Alive? A celebrity? You're trying to react other ways. Where, oh, I, I could kind of guess. So I have to use reverse psychology or something? Thank you for confirming that. Uh, <laughs> huh, people, there is one in every crowd. Eh? <clears throat> is there an actress? Be genuinely honest, is it, uh, what is his name? Um, oh boy, hell of a mentalist, couldn't recall. Uh -huh. Paul Walker, was, was that it? Thank you, you can sit down. Thank you. When I perform in New York, um, not, not to show off, uh, that, that, that's where I live. Okay. So uh, whenever I, I perform there, I always quote my country, our beautiful India, 
as the land of mystery and spiritual history. The land of mystery and spiritual history. This is what I say every single time. But I have genuinely no idea why your people are so blind when it comes to the mysterious subjects. I have no idea why, why we so much want to believe in supernatural. No, 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 wait, don't accuse me yet. My point is, when the nature and natural itself are superb, which is all over in our culture and myth, why do we even need supernatural? As I mentioned earlier, people don't want to know anything about senses, but all they care about is the sixth sense. I mean, does it make any sense to you? The people want their mystery at the end of the day. They just need their mystery no matter what. No wonder most of the silly cons, such as psychics, Uja board, pendulum jodition, and, and even recently this mud brain stimulation. Uh, was, that, was that mid brain? That doesn't make any difference. All the same to me. Um, these, these silly cons are way too easy to sell here. People ask about ESP a lot extrasensory perception, ESP. As human beings, we all make a genuine attempt to perhaps, honest attempt to perhaps understand others a bit easier and deeper, or closer and deeper. For a mentalist, it's a default nature. This is what we do. We observe, study, and, and read people. But we all have these abilities. But you just believe that. We all have these abilities. You just have to know where to look. And when you know that, look a little closer. A little more than necessary. All I'm referring here is about that little extra effort you put onto your senses, to your sensory perceptions. Maybe, and I believe, this is all about extrasensory perception, ESP. They say an average person uses 10 to 15 percent of their cerebral capacity. 10 to 15. Think about it for a moment. We don't, we don't see the things in front of us as we think we do. It goes to all the senses. I understand that's a bit uh, complicated to digest. So let's talk about observation a bit. Okay. Before we begin, uh, I must admit this, before we begin, we talked to the organizers to arrange a few, a few random uh, audience for us, okay? They have been chosen absolute random. Two conditions we gave, one uh, is that they, ha they have to be somewhere visible. So, could you just, uh, you, you were there, I, I think? And I can't, I can't find the other one. We haven't met though, right? Just raise your hand, whoever the two people are. Oh, you two, okay, good. Just, would you, would you come up, please? And the applause will continue until you reach there. Let's don't kill the moment. Huh? <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for joining up here. Right here. Hi. Hi. Your name is? Sinduja. Sinduja. Pranita. I'm Adi. Hi, Pranita. So um, the second condition was, what would be your watches? Uh -huh. OK. So uh, here is an observation test. What are, just a little forward. No, no, facing me. OK. <laughs> so the idea. Was, was that a gift? Yeah, no? I borrowed it from someone. Someone, okay, so it kind of, yeah. yeah. So, but the point is, uh, you definitely know the brand then, right? No? That is pathetic, don't you think? <laughs> how many times, how many times we look at her watch every single day? Think about it. This is exactly my point. I wanted her to say no. Do you, you know, you know your watch, which brand is it? What is that? Fossil. Huh? Fossil. Okay, no advertising, they said. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have to ask my next question, which is the sub-brand. Right under the main brand, they, they, some watches, they do write the sub-brand. Um, so, like Citizen came up with their code, right, whatever it is. So, there is no point asking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See, it has nothing to do with your intellectual awareness, okay? My point is, to look is one thing. To see what we look at is another. And we often have no idea what we miss. Wait a minute. Um, before I do anything, would you hold on to this? I want all of you in the room, everybody, would you just uh, fold your hands? I said, okay. Everybody. And how many of you know that seven out of ten people cross left over right? Statistics say so. I, I know uh, people make arguments over using statistics for these terms, but they are there for, the, for a reason. Look around, okay? And, and you, know, you know what's interesting? Try to do other ways. That's very irritating, right? They say it's practically, it's practically impossible to unlearn that gesture. But that is not a subject here, not my point here. I just want to find that someone, sir, the way you are, sir, the, the pe person in the third row, you, the way you are not reacting, would you stand up, please? Is that okay? Step a little forward, if you would. And what I want you to do, I want you to uh, stare at the screen for 
Three seconds. Screen, focus, but don't hurt yourself, okay? Here we go. And that's it, okay. Now, what, look at me. I want you to think of a time. Okay, time and a clock. Could be anything. Don't tell what it is yet. You could go back, take your time, and sit back, relax. Um, uh, but uh, in between, try to set your watch to the particular time you're thinking of, okay? If you have two times, go for the first one. You got it? Okay, thank you, please, sir. Take your time. So, hi, where are we? Why are you hiding there? <laughs> okay, good. So the next question, uh, the indication in a watch system follows um, either in the Indo-Arabian numeral system, which is one, two, three, the number, or the Roman letter. You learned in a government school? I did. You learned in a government school? So uh, I, I did. So we, we are very familiar with it. You know the Roman letters, right? They put outside our classroom. Okay, good. So uh, it's either one. Which one your watch follows without looking? I think Roman. You think Roman. Think in quotes. What about you? And it's Roman. That's confidence there. Uh, do you want me to have a look at it? Shut up. What about that? It isn't. So it's it's just, a, just a line, right? Sorry? It's just a line. It isn't, it isn't Roman. I purposely avoided that option to make you confused. <laughs> but see, both of you, uh, it's, it's different. It's completely different. There are uh, two or three Roman letters, but nothing in there, right? So uh, what are you missing? I can see so many faces going there in between, like, uh, it doesn't help to peek at the last moment, okay? Doesn't, um, here we go. I just made you look at your watch purposely like three to four times. What is the exact time right now? Uh, I don't want you to calculate, okay? Do you want to peek at the screen for me? <laughs> People do miss these points. Come on, how many times? She, you were looking, but you were no, not seeing everything as, as you should be, right? This is my point. And I will let you head back and uh, not done with you. So please, thank, thank you so much. Round of applause for the... Here we go. Um, what I wanted to do, uh, step a little forward and uh, stare at the screen uh, for uh, about four seconds, okay? From now. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Name. Gen genuinely, if you, if, you, if you have to be honest though, right? Name the first, first time come to your mind. If you have a time, um, uh, a, d day, a time on a clock, okay? Okay? You have something in your mind? Yeah. To the mic. Should I say it? To the mic, yes. 2.45. Sir, does it ring any bell? It does? Uh, there we go. I think you will see the, yeah. Maybe like two, three minutes off because it's been, I've been talking. Thank you, sir. You could, you could, thank you. But, thank you, thank you. If I ask you, look at me, if I ask you, if I ask you, um, to associate it with a day, a day of a week, Sunday to Monday, uh, or Sunday to Saturday, a day. This is what keeping me. What is the day? Should I say it? Thursday. Thursday. See, before I come here, uh, yesterday or the previous day, I don't remember, I happened to take a photo of my alarm clock, okay? See, we have never met before. Could you confirm that? Okay, you didn't write it, anything and give it to someone or something, it's just, you're not helping me in any way. No. Okay, good. Because I see some of the, the, the previous TED Talk and the, in the comment system, you know, they, 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 they do. And so many people are saying it's all set up and all, it is absolutely not a setup. Okay, so uh, before I open, could you just, uh, it's sealed, it's officially sealed. There is no way in or out. You could just tear it open. Well, it's an 18 minutes talk, so. <laughs> That's the procedure. What does it say? It's a photo of my alarm clock which says 2.45. Is that it? Yeah. The camera, if you, if you want it. Um, okay. Um, and, and you know the interesting thing, you didn't say, was it morning or evening? Do, do you have something in your mind or just yeah. you had? PM. Most of the people think of PM. And it's PM, right? Yes. It's, yeah. And uh, was that the, 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 the Thursday? Mm. Thank you very much. There we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Why Thursday? Was it random? Uh, not the, the, the thinking, like, you know, is it for any reason? Yeah. Or there got to be another reason in my, my if I had to make sure that you, you will think of it, because I don't have, like, 247 of those in my, in my pocket. <laughs> so um, you said it's random. Well, there is no, thing, no such thing as random. 
How many of you? No such thing as random when your subconscious is there, back there always working. That's an absolute, uh, remember this? Did I ask you to ignore the kid? We get influenced, that's what they say. We get influenced by every, everything we see, everything we hear, every single thing we listen. And you've been watching everything from the entire, entire beginning. And thank you very much indeed. Thank you. you could go back, thank you. Watch out. And guys, this skill, uh, it has its own curse. It has its own curse. Uh, it's a murder on relationship first. People call it a gift, but it has its own curse. When you're trying to see the puzzle in everything, learning to solve the people by just looking at them, the signals are everywhere. Once you started looking at it, it's impossible to stop. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.